Good morning, it's Jackie Ballheis from clompenstampers.blogspot.com and it is Technique Tuesday. Today I want to show you this really fun technique that really qualifies as a blast from the past as I like to do those videos also, but it's polished stone. Love this, kind of tucked it away, forgot all about it and it is time to revive this technique. Um, it's very simple to do just using your Stampin' Up! reinkers. You need to use glossy cardstock though. This is the key to making this work. I don't know if you can see in there, this is the glossy cardstock. But So I've got a piece of that. I have a cotton ball and rubbing alcohol. And all you're going to do is saturate your rubbing el or your cotton ball with rubbing alcohol. And then I like to use three different colors. So I'm using wild wasabi, certainly celery, and old olive. And I'm putting three good drops on my cotton ball. Now let the fun begin. All I'm gonna do is take this and just pounce and pounce and pounce and pounce and pounce. And all I'm doing is covering my whole piece of glossy cardstock. And the more you do it, you'll just see how those colors spread around and you just continue doing it until it, you get the look that you want. And because we've used alcohol, it will dry pretty darn quick. So there it is how I like it. All you need to do then is give it a little bit to dry. If you're impatient, you can always use a heat gun. But our background is ready for us just to stamp on it. And I'm not going to bore you with that because you all know how to stamp. But you'll notice on my card here, I've used the famous Lovely as a Tree stamp set. Um, I kind of laugh when I look at my set. It is well used. This one's been around forever. One of these days I need to replace it with clear because I like clear stamps a lot better and buy all mine in that. I did stamp on it. You will want to use the stays on black. It gives you the nice dark black crisp in it, image, but also will dry nice on that glossy cardstock. My words are from a great greeting set that I like called Petite Pears. Makes a nice manly looking card, don't you think? You know, it's so hard to, to do masculine looking things. And that's all there is to the polished stone technique. But there's one other thing I want to share with you today, because a few of you have mentioned that you have problems with this wood grain embossing folder. And it was back in the holiday catalog. It is still available in the spring catalog. Um, love it. Love the look of it. But some people have complained that when they emboss with it, because the ridges are so deep that sometimes your cardstock will crack. It just it embosses too deeply in it. Well, I've got a solution for you. And what you will want to do is take a piece of vellum cardstock. Um, it's not real thin. It, it's vellum cardstock that we carry in the Stampin' Up! Um, catalog and I've just cut a piece the size of my embossing folder and I'm going to put just a little bit of snail adhesive on here to hold it in and then what I'm going to do on the top part where the label is I am going to actually adhere this to the inside of my embossing folder and by sticking it in there you can keep it in there for for several times and now when you go to emboss you do it just like normal we don't want to spill our alcohol. And we'll just go ahead and bring the, the big shot over here so I can, I'll just do this for you. Emboss it just like normal using no tabs. Um, and we'll just go ahead and slide it through here. There we go. Got to turn the handle the right direction. Sometimes you get little cracking noises. That's okay. And you'll see... Just go ahead and keep the vellum in here, and then my piece will emboss with no cracks in it. So that's just a little tip. One other thing you may notice, my embossing folder is kind of chopped off here. These embossing folders are too big to go in sideways. And you know, sometimes you might want to emboss the front of a card in this direction and be able to put it in this way. So I actually just cut off part of the plastic on here. Um, it's still wide enough to fit my card, but now I can go ahead and I can emboss going in this direction where before these folders could only go in this way. So that's just another little tip, and I hope you enjoy my technique today, the polished stone technique, and that you'll also give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and check out my blog for more information, and I will also have this card posted there with a complete list of all the supplies I used. Have a stamp happy day.